What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and today we've got the last upload before the official release of 2K20. Now, I just wanted to bring you guys a build that I got suggested to by one of my subscribers. Um, check him out on Twitter. His at is 2kbuilds underscore br so definitely be sure to check him out. He suggested that I make this build and I actually made this build on stream. So everything that I was doing here, I was actually doing live and I was just playing around and I actually stumbled across this build and found out that I could actually really make this a pretty all around and solid build. I didn't know what kind of comparisons I would get, but the top comparison was Brandon Roy. Now I can definitely see this comparison, but it may not be exactly true to Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy was also a great shooter, but with this build, you only get a 64-3. But I honestly believe that that will be enough to be able to still shoot well enough to be able to hit consistently. I'll explain that later when I get further on in the video. You'll see why. So obviously what you got to do here, this is a slashing playmaker build or a playmaking slasher build. So obviously pick that pie chart. What you can get here is 20 finishing, 6 shooting, 21 playmaking, and 9 defensive badges. That's the way I spread it out, very, very, very even. And you get Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame finishing badges. The attributes, very, very solid. 90 shot close, 91 driving layup, 90 driving dunk. So you get all the contact dunks so you can catch crazy bodies in the park, whatever game mode you're playing. 73 mid, so you're still going to be able to hit down the middies and a little bit of moving mid, stuff like that. 64-3 as I was talking about before, but I do believe that that will be good enough for you to hit. I'll explain that why later. 83 free throw, you definitely want your free throw up on a slashing build. You are attacking the net constantly, you are always taking contact, you want your free throws up, definitely. 88 pass accuracy and 88 ball handle. So you can speed boost with this build at all times and you can get contact dunks and you are pretty fast with this. Now I picked the pie chart of uh, agility and vertical because I, I like the speed, I was almost at 90 speed but I actually get up to a 95 vertical and I think vertical is very very important for slashers and the way that I set up this build is kind of like a Russell Westbrook type build as well and the vertical also comes into play later on. You will see what I mean but you could also go with the max speed agility and then you could be absolutely insanely fast with it but still with an 80 vertical so you could definitely try that you will be extremely fast with the ball. I did seem to be a little bit too slow to my liking, but the way that I built this build, you definitely want the vertical because of the badges and such that I do put on. But you get the 62 interior defense, so that's not great, but that's okay for a guard. 76 perimeter D and 71 lateral quickness, so you can clamp up. 75 steal, so you can still block. And the 78 defensive rebound. That's what I'm talking about. The 78 defensive rebound combined with the 95 vertical, that is OP. You will get so many rebounds. The way that they determine the way you rebound is definitely through height, vertical, and then your rebounding attributes and your badges. So I actually did throw on my gold rebounding badge because I wanted to be able to, to take advantage of my 95 vertical and my 78 defensive rebound. Now you also see what else I combine with it. It's really cool what I do, but you will see. So I was actually in the stream here and I actually got a suggestion to go slight because you actually sli like slice through the defense a little better. I honestly didn't find it much of a difference. I probably would go compact because I just like compact. You still get a little bit of that muscle and everything, so I definitely like it there. Now I was looking at it that six foot six, you lose too much. Six foot four, I don't like it, you're too small. So six foot five is perfect. You still get all those great attributes. Right here I go 200 pounds to get up to that 95 vertical. You lose a little bit of strength, but that's okay. And you gain a little bit of lateral quickness, which is also good. You definitely want that lateral quickness. And then for my wingspan, I just go default because I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't want to lose my shot contest. And I don't want to lose any ball control. And my shooting ratings are definitely good enough. And I will definitely explain that right away here why the 64-3 will suffice and you will still be able to hit consistently I can guarantee you that you will for sure be able to but right here you're gonna see the comparisons right away 
Obviously, I'm picking the slashing takeover. That's going to give you a 99 driving dunk and a 99 driving layup. As long as it's still the same principles as last year, you get plus 10 to your primary attributes and your takeover, that's what you should get. So as you can see here, Brandon Roy, James Harden, Donovan Mitchell. Definitely, I would say more Donovan Mitchell than James Harden, but Brandon Roy definitely is cool comparison. And he is actually in the game again this year, I believe. He definitely will be in the My Team mode, I do believe. But right here, the 64-3, this is what I believe is still going to be good. So you're going to be left open, left wide open quite a bit. You're going to have gold catch and shoot and gold hot zone hunter. So you get your hot zones around the three-point line, plus your catch and shoot. You're going to be looking at maybe close to like a 73. Maybe, but your shot percentages are going to go up. Now, last year, I had a 67 three-pointer. Now, it's for the last few months, but like... I worked with a 66-3, a 65-3, only with bronze catch and shoot and bronze corner specialist. I still shot 56%. That was with bronze shooting badges. Now I have three attribute ratings less, but I have gold shooting badges. You will be absolutely fine if you put these badges on and you're going to be wide open. Now the finishing badges, I went with Hall of Fame Acrobat, Hall of Fame Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame Fancy Footwork, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Hall of Fame Relentless. Now you could go Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher, but I don't know. I kind of like to be able to take the contact and you definitely want to be able to dunk and then the Relentless kicks in and you definitely want the Giant Slayer because you are six foot five, and you are going to be meeting a lot of big men at the rim. So I think you're going to be absorbing more contact than you will be avoiding. But when you do avoid the contact, that's where your fancy footwork and acrobat's going to kick in. So that's definitely going to help you out there. And you'll see later on in the clips where these badges kick in. And they are definitely really, really nice. Playmaking, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, downhill. Because I got that 95 vertical, 78 rebounding, and my gold hustle rebounder badge or my gold rebound chaser badge so i can get up there get the rebounds run down the court super super fast now you could even go back like i said and put that uh speed all the way up up to the 91 whatever it may be the hall of fame downhill will make you faster you're gonna have lots of momentum towards the rim you're gonna be dunking on people like crazy so that's definitely nice hall of fame unpluckable quick first step all the primary playmaking badges you want now for defensive and rebounding, Gold Intimidator, obviously one of the best defensive badges you can have. Put that on. Pick Dodger, definitely because you're going to be hit with a lot of picks this year. And I did not put on clamps because I'm honestly confident enough in my defensive skills to not have to put that badge on. And I have high enough lateral quickness and perimeter defense that I believe that I can still stay in front of the defender good enough and have a good enough idea of what he's going to do. Really all clamps does is show you what direction they're going to go and gives you access to a little bit more cutoff moves and more bumps. That's really all you get. So I'm kind of confident in my abilities defensively otherwise. So that's why I went with those three gold defensive badges. That's definitely what I like about this build the most, the spread outness of the badges. 20 finishing, 6 shooting, 21 playmaking, 9 defensive and rebounding. And this is definitely what I mean where you come in with the 83 free throw definitely super handy and as you can see right there hall of fame fancy footwork acrobat so good so nice and when you're running up the court hall of fame downhill there's the fancy footwork again with the hop steps that badge is definitely op these hall of fame shoot or finishing badges combined together are so incredibly nice i actually am a real big fan of this build i also might grind this build out later on this could be my legit slasher build because the balance is really, really good. You're going to get contact dunks. You can still hit the three. You can still spread the four. You still have great playmaking. You can still sauce up. You got different takeover options. You can still get your shot creating takeover. So if you wanted your shot creating takeover, that's going to boost your three pointer as well. You could take off catch and shoot if you wanted even and put on difficult shots and then you're going to be a mid-range god. So you can definitely switch up the way that this build plays all due to the takeover and the ability to switch up your badges. So you can definitely play a lot different with this build. That's what I mean. I don't have difficult shots on right there and I got a 64-3 and somehow I hit a fadeaway limitless 3. I can't believe that I actually hit that shot but I had to throw that in at the start of the video there. Now I honestly recommend the 17 
jump shot meter. It kind of is a little bit tougher for finishing and slashing because you can't really see the meter because of everybody's feet is in the way. But you do have a great idea of when they are releasing the ball and it's pretty easy to tell. Now in the free throws, I really like it on the free throws especially because I greened so many free throws. I actually think I went 17 for 17 on my free throws or it was something like that there. Right there, my Hall of Fame ankle breaker kicking in on the spin on Curry, making him stumble a little bit or stun him a bit, taking off for the nice dunk. Now obviously you can't get the contact dunk packages in the demo yet, but once you get those on the actual game, it's going to be a lot of fun you guys. This is definitely going to be a legit slasher build. You're going to be able to do everything with it. And this is honestly like my 2K18 build. I can't even lie. This is seriously the resurrection of my 2K18 build. This is exactly what he could do. But I get better badges than I did in 2K18. I did not get any shooting badges. And I get way better finishing badges. The only Hall of Fame badge I got in my 2K18 playmaking slasher was one man fast break. All I got was like gold posterizer, everything like that. So I'm super excited. This was basically my 2K18 point guard build. So I'm definitely going to try and rock with this a bit. Get some videos with it. And they said the blow buys are OP this year in 2K20. So this build will definitely be something to look at. And that's what I mean too. You can definitely change up the agility pie chart to go all speed. So you are fast, but you still get that 80 vertical. So you can switch up the badges there, but I only did get 5 rebounds this game, but I think that could be a different story online, so that's still subject to test. But I got 48 points on 17 of 29 shooting, definitely a nice stat line. You got some steals there too, you could put on the pickpocket if you want as well, but definitely check out this build guys, it's definitely a legit slasher build, and I hope you guys enjoyed the 2K20 release, we're gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be streaming tonight at 11pm with the full drop, so make sure you tune in then. Peace.